and I hope you had a lovely, lovely bank holiday. Um, and you're not too miserable today. Being that was beautiful, Joel. She just flemmed in his mouth. Um, happy post bank holiday Tuesday. It's absolutely miserable outside, and it's really depressing. So I thought I would just do an everyday makeup on my face routine using Revlon Colorstay um, this is the combination oily skin one because I really like matte makeup um, and I noticed that I said matte a lot in my other tutorials so I'm going to try not to say matte too often um, today so let's just get cracking because I don't want it to be really long because a lot of you moaned that my videos are really long um, it doesn't have a pump on this so just pour some out of my hand. Ooh, it's really runny, this stuff, if you've not used it before. Um, my shade is not too sure. Uh, oh, 330 Natural Tan. I'm going to use a expert face brush from Real Techniques. And um, before, I'm just going to give it a little spritz here with this collection Fix Me Up um, spray. You're supposed to spritz it on after you've done your makeup. But I find that a lot of my brushes really absorb foundation. So if I give it a little squirt on the bristles first, it doesn't absorb too much of the foundation. Dibby dob dob, dib dab, dibby dab dab. Dab, 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 dab. It's a little bit dark for me, this one. It's not really showing up on the camera, but it is a bit dark. And this Fix Me Up stuff smells really, really nice. Um, and does help your foundation to stay on all day. Which is nice. Um, I don't know if a lot of you use brushes to apply your foundation. I've only just... Probably in the last six months started to use foundation brushes. Um, this one is kind of a cross between um, a foundation brush and a buffing brush. The bristles are quite compacted together. But I know just find it it does actually really blend your makeup in really well, so take it all the way down in it. So if you haven't got many makeup brushes and you usually use your fingers go and get these um, I got them for Christmas but they're the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman who's one of the Pixie Woo girls um, and I got a face pack with one, two, three, four, five brushes in and an eye makeup one with five brushes in but the face ones are really really nice and maybe I'll do a little review on those separately for anyone that's interested so that's it I'll generally wear quite a bit of foundation because I don't really like my skin so um, even if I was just going to go to the town shopping I'd still wear quite a bit so that's that Okay, next is concealer. Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Beige. And I just use this for covering up spots. And I'll use one of the eye brushes from The Real Techniques. This one is deluxe crease brush and it's just a nice shape for concealing your spots or blemishes as they like to be called I don't know if spots have a preference what they like to be called but spots a bit grimy isn't it got quite a few spots actually it was all the junk takeaway that I ate over the weekend So that's a really nice concealer. It's quite expensive, 
think it must have been about 15 quid but it's worth investing in a good one especially if you have skin outbreaks like mine um wake me up it's anti-fatigue effect radiant glow concealer corrector and i think i'm in three zero classic beige um, just use that under my eyes use the same brush that you did your concealer with it's quite nice it's obviously I know a lot of you like that YSL one that's really expensive can't remember the name of it but if you've not got that sort of budget then the fix me up not fix me up wake me up Rimmel one is is nice okay now just powder those areas that I've just concealed because that will just set it just down the middle of my face in case I get shiny it's a bourgeois bronzing powder filled with glints of sunshine we all need a bit of that today um, this is another Real Techniques brush this is a buffing brush and I'm just put some bronzy kind of contour my face here at the bottom of your cheekbone from the back and then just blend that towards the middle of your face and that, can you tell the difference? this side just looks a little bit more contoured so I have a really round fat face just up into the temples a bit along the edges I'll probably do a proper contour tutorial but I'm just doing my everyday makeup today I'm not going to do my eyes because I'm going to put that in a separate tutorial and I'm just going to do like a natural um, just a natural eye with a um, darker brown in the crease so I'll do that if, if you want to watch it you can if you don't you don't have to I'm not going to force you or anything um, my favourite blush at the moment is Sleek and it's in Pixie Pink 936 it's a really really bright pink um, but it just gives you a nice little flush of colour don't know if you can see that or not I'll probably get a proper video camera that might help instead of using this web webcam It's, these are really really nice blushes they're really pigmented and I'm sure it was for four or five pounds um, I got the eye palette as well maybe I'll use that to do the eyes possibly not sure yet so that's that on my lips generally I don't tend to wear much during the week but I definitely need to remove that foundation because it looks like I'm from Essex. And there's a massive strip of dirty water called the Thames that divides Gravesend and Essex. And I don't want to be painted with that sponge. Is it painted with that thing? don't know what the saying is. So let's get all that foundation off the lips. Foundation is for your face and not for your lips. Unless you really like it, put it on your lips. If you think it looks nice for you, then do it. That's what I say. Uh, I'm just going to put a bit of lip gloss on. Uh, what was this? First thing I picked up. 
Glossy Chew by Barry M. Looks like that's number 11. I think it's a bubblegum one. Sorry I keep looking up there. My mirror's up there. I don't know if it looks weird or not. Like I'm not paying attention to you guys. But I am. I'm just looking at my face. Because I need to look at my face to put stuff on it. So that's it. That is my everyday face, blush, lips. I probably would just put a lip balm on or a lip gloss. Ah, oh, spat then. Did you see it? Never mind. So that's that. Excuse my hair looks really rubbish. I've had to pin it up otherwise I get foundation in my hair. I've got a bit there, look. Looks lovely. So now I'm going to have to wipe that out. I think everyone with blonde hair gets that problem. Makeup. Okay. So that is everyday face lips. Um, stay tuned if you want to watch a natural eye and I'll show you how I do my natural eyes. And that's all for now. And uh, love you loads. Big kiss. Mwah.